Today, our topic is addition of polynomials. Now, question number one. We have to add these three polynomials of degree two. The very first method of adding these polynomials is this vertical method in which we will arrange the values like in the first polynomial we have the constant 1 then plus 2x then plus 3x square here the power of variable is 1 and here the power of variable is 2 now in the second polynomial we have the first term 3x we will place it under 2x then minus 4 is the constant here then minus 2x square under 3x square then in the third polynomial we can see the value first term is x square we will place it here then minus 5x and plus 4 in this way we will arrange our three polynomials accordingly in the first column we have the constant values in the second we have the values which have the power 1 and in the third column we have the values that have the x power 2 these are the terms of the polynomials now we have to add them the operation here is addition so in the first column we can see that 1 plus 4 is 5 and 4 and 5 minus 4 is 1 in the second column we can see 2 plus 3 5 minus 5 this will be cancelled out and we will be left behind with 0 in the third column 3x square minus 2x square plus x square 3 plus 1 4 4 minus 2 is 2 and sign of the bigger number plus 2x square so by arranging the values we can get our answer that is 1 plus 2x square now the second method of adding the polynomial is also very simple it is like we will write the values in the brackets the first polynomial plus the second polynomial plus the third now what we will do we will open the brackets and we will arrange the values like from the first bracket we have 3x square we will write it here from the second bracket we have minus 2x square we will write it here from the third plus x square in this way plus 2x plus 3x minus 5x then the constants in this way we will arrange the values like terms will be on one side then the like terms of the three polynomials here the variable has power 2 here the variable has power 1 and this is the constant or the, or the variable having power 0 now we will solve them we will add 3 plus 1 4 minus 2 we get 4x square minus 2x square here 2 plus 3 5x minus 5x here 1 plus 4 5 minus 4 we will subtract this we get 2x square this will be cancelled out or we get 0 5 minus 4 1 2x square plus 1 in this way we have solved the uh, three polynomials we have add, added them the key point is that we will uh, we will write the like terms together and then we will do the solving these were the two methods of solving the polynomials and doing the operation of addition on on them hope you have understood it. how to subtract the polynomials subtraction of polynomials now the question is subtract p from q the values of p are given 3x square plus 5x cube plus 2x square minus x this is the polynomial of degree 4 and q is, is equals to 4x power 4 plus 2x square plus x cube minus x plus 1 this is also a polynomial and its degree is also 4 now the very first method that I am going to teach you here is that we will write the values in this form now we have to subtract P from Q so we will write the value of Q here 4x square plus 2x square plus x cube minus x plus 1 and below we will write the values of P 3x4 under 4x4 then 
टू एक्स स्क्वायर देन फाइव एक्स क्यूब देन माइनस एक्स नाउ वॉट वी विल डू फॉर सब्ट्रैक्शन इज दैट वी विल चेंज द साइंस नाउ हेयर द साइन इज प्लस वी विल चेंज इट टू माइनस हेयर द साइन इज प्लस वी विल चेंज इट टू माइनस हेयर प्लस माइनस हेयर माइनस इट विल बी चेंज इन टू प्लस साइन दिस इज द की पॉइंट दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन योर माइंड वेन अट्रैक्टिंग अ पॉलिनोमियल इन दिस मेथड वी विल राइट द वैल्यूज एंड वी विल चेंज द साइंस नाउ वेन दिस वेन दिस साइन इज चेंज हेयर दिस मीन्स दैट वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट वी गेट एक्स फोर this will be cancelled out plus and minus cancel plus and minus now the operation will be minus 4x cube minus now minus x plus x this will be also cancelled we get 0 and plus 1 will come down here so by subtracting p from q we get x4 minus 4x cube plus 1 now the second method of subtraction is just similar to that of the addition but here what we will do we will just change the sign now first we will write the values of uh, q 4x4 plus 2x square plus x cube minus x plus 1 and we will put the sign minus here and then we will write the values of p 3x4 plus 5x cube plus 2x square minus x now what we have done here is we have written the values of q polynomial here and p here now we will write 4x4 plus 2x square plus x cube minus x plus 1 as it is but here now when we have to open the bracket what we will do is here the sign is minus here the sign is plus when we will open it it will become minus 3x4 here minus here plus plus minus minus 5x cube minus plus minus 2x square minus minus plus x now this is the key point here that when we put this minus sign the signs here will change when we will open the brackets now we will arrange them 4x power 4 minus 3x power 4 plus x cube minus 5x cube plus 2x square minus 2x square minus x plus x and plus 1 and we will so further solve it here we get x4 minus 4x cube this will be cancelled out we get 0 this also 0 and plus 1 and we get the value x4 minus 4x cube plus 1 in this method only one thing you have to keep in mind that when you are subtracting this minus sign here when you will open the bracket the signs of the terms that are inside the bracket will change if they are positive they will become negative if they are negative they will become positive hope you have understood both the method how to multiply the polynomials multiplication of polynomials question number 1 is that 5x plus 6 and multiply by 2x plus 3 these are the two polynomials and we have to multiply them there are two methods the first way or the way of solving is this we will write the values first polynomial multiply by second polynomial what we will do 2 5 10 10 x and x bases are same power will be added square again 2 5 times 10 x multiply by x bases are same so power will be added here the power is 1 here the power is 1 we get 2 plus this 2x will be multiplied by 6 plus 12x now we come down 3 multiply by 5x plus 15x 3 multiply by 6 plus 18 10x square 27x plus 18 we have multiplied both the polynomials and we get this answer 10x square plus 27x plus 18 the second method of multiplication of the polynomials is also very simple you just have to write the values like this 
then what we will do 5x will be multiplied by 2x plus 5x multiplied by 3 then plus second term 6x 6 multiplied by 2x plus 6 will be multiplied by 3 in this way we will multiply the terms now 5 times 2 is 10 x multiplied by x x square here again bases are same powers are added plus 5x into 3 15x plus 6 into 2x 2 6 times 12 and x as it is plus 6 times 3 is 18 so we get the answer 10x square plus we will add these values 27x plus 18 hope you have understood the operations on uh, polynomial that how to add a polynomial how to subtract and how to multiply um, by both the methods method number one by writing the values vertically and method number two by writing them horizontally and then uh, driving the uh, like values then adding or subtracting them and getting the answer now if you practice you will uh, have a clear concept of it and do practice for better learning thank you